Hello, welcome to another episode of La Suerte Vlog. In this episode, I have a new guest. It's Dave. Hello. Uh, I'm Michal, and uh, today we'll talk um, about music more. Um, about music, about dancing, about roots of salsa. So we'll try to talk about son and rumba. We might fit in one episode, we might spread it into two. Who knows how it goes. Um, so, uh, I'll just introduce Dave quickly. Dave has been our students for how many years? Two now, something two, like that, yeah. two and a half or something. Yeah, so um, he started learning dancing here, but uh, a part of that, he is passionate musician, um, pianist and drummer, and basically playing whatever comes handy. Yeah, 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 yeah I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I um, and, and the most important, he's very passionate about um, Cuban music, Afro Cuban music, folklor folkloric music. Um, so, yeah, it will be very interesting chat for sure. So, hopefully. Well, I can't promise that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be interesting to us, but not necessarily to other people. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, we want to make it in informative as well. So, um, we'll start with, with basic. Before people started dancing salsa, they were dancing something in Cuba. Um, and this something was son. So son is traditional way of dancing and it also has traditional musical form. Um, first biggest difference uh, when it comes to dancing is that son is traditionally danced on two. There are multiple ways to dance on two. Uh, salsa New York style is danced on two. Um, it has many different variations. Uh, there is just regular um, salsa on two and actually they step one two three five six seven but the open break comes on two and six and there is version that people call power on two and this is actually the son rhythm so we are dancing two three four six seven eight when it comes to the rhythm um, and for example in dirty dancing they dance uh, they dance on two as well and, and, yeah but this style is called palladium mambo uh, oh, okay. but yeah, but it, it's it's still dancing too. It's it's very um, theatrical form of dancing. Yeah, it is. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Even a part of that, in in general, that the way the way they step is 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 quite different to what you associate mm. with modern uh, salsa. Yeah. So son, like we said, we are dancing on on two. So the rhythm is two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. But now the most important aspect about it is that uh, Cuban people were actually not counting. They were dancing to uh, sounds of instruments uh, in music. And we'll try to talk about it a bit and, and maybe even show you some um, instruments and show you some rhythms. So Dave has a like, big box of uh, instruments and on our side probably it's not in the uh, image now, but we'll get clave out. So uh, first, the most important instrument. Yeah. Should have organized this a little bit more. Uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. So basically, clave are two wooden sticks. Yeah, normally I, I show this uh, to people in the classes and ask, what's that? And they're saying, two sticks. Okay, yeah, that's that's the fact. There are two wooden sticks. Um, so clave is an instrument uh, that plays in song, um, but uh, clave is also a musical concept. Yeah. So Dave will play clave five, six, seven, and. Okay, so this version of clave that he just showed you is free to son clave. So the first hit of clave comes on one in the music. Yeah, the a lot more popular version of clave is two free clave. So first we are playing two quick hits, then free slow. Um, and one is not accented. And in majority of son songs, I would say that we have two free clave. No? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just like to say about the reason why I played that one first yeah. is because it's it was uh, well I don't know maybe not a lot of people are familiar with this but certainly it meant a lot to me Spice Girls song <laughs> yeah Spice Up Your Life has a, a genius moment in it it's a, it's a very Latin inspired song but it's got a moment which goes hi see ya hold tight and um, it's the same rhythm it's that 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 that. Hi, see, yeah, hold tight. And so for me, that meant that I was able to memorize that yeah, rhythm. That's a good one. So basically, when we when we go through uh, different rhythms that are appearing in, in, in the music, 
for most of them, they've had some cl very clever associations, yeah? So you can associate uh, Clave with Spice Girls song, yeah? That's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, but uh, when it comes to um, Cuban music, Free to Clave, so like Spice Girls version, uh, is a lot less popular than two free versions. So in general, what's the idea? We have eight beats in a phrase, yeah? Uh, so two fours. In the first four, we'll play two middle beats, so two and three, and the second we'll play the first one, the last one, and the middle one. So this middle one is a bit like, eh, why do we play that? It's like, it doesn't associate us with dancing, end of six, mm. weird moment of dancing, but the whole idea is that it divides the phrase into two parts that are very, very clear. In first part, there are two beats playing close to each other. In second part, we have three beats uh, a bit more apart. Uh, because of that, it's very easy, or okay, maybe not very easy, but it's quite easy to find yourself in the music. Uh, and it helps musicians to synchronize with each other, and it helps dancers um, to, to, to dance as well. Uh, and uh, it's Cuban people quite often like to say that they dance to clave, and this is not very far away um, from truth. So again, steps are not coming exactly on clave, but having clave in your head is quite easy to synchronize mm -hmm. with your steps. So if we can do just uh, two, three clave, so five, six, seven, eight, one. 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 Cool. Yeah, so this is how... Uh, I feel like we're Michael Spiro. A bit, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> like like so, so somebody said, like like I was sitting like that over the drums. So James, yeah. yeah you look like Michael Spiro. <laughs> <laughs> then I should use his catchphrases, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of an inside yeah. joke there. So yeah, but yeah, <laughs> he's using this a lot. Um, anyway, so we have clavet. Uh, we have drums in front of us. Normally we don't use them, uh, but this time I will. Um, so uh, drums are playing, you know, you can keep clave so we can okay, okay. Uh, put it together. Um, congas in particular are playing um, traditional rhythm in son, it's called tumbao. It can be played on one drum, it can be played on both drums, there are multiple variations, but the basic one sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to do it with clave. Five, six, seven. Cool. Um, so again, uh, if I break down this rhythm a bit, the most important elements are this and this, and this is this slap comes on two and six, and the open tones four and eight. Um, and again, clave comes on eight as well. And this is the first meeting point. This is when drums are playing stronger. This is when clave is accenting again. And you will notice that this will be one of the more important beats in song, if not the most important. Um, yeah, and then we will move, move further. Another uh, important rhythm um, is called Montuno. Uh, and this is a um, piano rhythm. Uh, piano in Latin music, or specifically in salsa, in son, is partially percussion instrument as well. Mm -hmm. So a part of playing melody, a part of um, like adding like flavor like to, 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 to the music is giving you the rhythm as well. Dave likes to create his own montunas, but also try the, also plays the traditional once, yeah, I think I'll, I'll let you talk in here. Yeah, so when I when you first asked me to play in the band, I got a book and basically learned the first piano montuno, which was written out in notation. Arsenio Rodriguez, probably. Or... It was it was the one that goes do 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 yeah, so what I did was, I knew how important the clave was in to kind of organise the music and get that feel within you. And so I kind of came up with a melody, which was 
Uh, today I learned how to clap clave while singing a mon to no pattern. Today I learned how to clap clave while singing a mon to no pattern. And so for me, because I, I learn rhythms through words, definitely, and I think a lot of people do, rather yes. than numbers, that really helped me um, mm. solidify that. Yeah, I think, I think this, this, is, this is how, how Cuban people in majority understand the, mm. the rhythm. Uh, There's lots having, of beatboxing, isn't yes, there? Yes, having idea? songs in their heads, um, associating it with something else, not numbers, really. Yeah. Exactly. Um, because I, num numbers are very, very European or American thing. So this one of the reasons why people then son on two was because they didn't care about numbers. Mm. Yeah, and then you Americans. Went, that's the strongest yeah, piece exactly. in the music, which yes. is exactly. And and, and, and then then um, you had Americans and, and Europeans going there and saying like, oh, why this is so weird? Why they don't start on one? Mm. Uh, and and then obviously modern way of dancing is to start on one. Mm. Uh, uh, but it's more like out of convenience and what's more music changed slightly like modern timba especially it's accented on one very often there are many accents on one but it's again just to support dancing originally um, people didn't didn't pay attention to 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 numbers in this way as we do now yeah. Um, what's more, they're useful. They're, I mean, yeah, numbers are useful, especially, it's, it's, especially from teaching perspective. Yeah, yeah it helps yeah. us to organize the dance. It does, it yeah. Does, yeah. So that's that's that's. Very but if you're if you're the type of person that doesn't really it finds numbers confusing and stuff, find another way, like I did, like yes. for me. And that's that's definitely useful. Like, like uh, when I when I teach a class. Uh, I prefer people to get used to like cheeky cheeky left, yeah. cheeky cheeky right, cheeky cheeky left, cheeky cheeky right, rather than one two three five six seven because that it's 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 very difficult to associate number with anything. Mm -hmm. However, uh, if you like maths, numbers. I like good. maths. But... I like maths. <laughs> and, and and to be honest, I do like numbers. Yeah. 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 It, it helps. It helps a lot. Mm -hmm.